Titanic Ship Conspiracies. Here we go. Mike Pence was aboard the Titanic ship to meet his secret homosexual lover. However, he wore his blue tie. This spelled disaster not only for him being exposed to everybody on board the ship, but as well as for the ship because the ship sank. Uh, because something about the feds, it was a fed plot, I guess. Mike Pence just also happened to be there. Back during the Civil War, the Union was losing, so they needed more funding. So what they did was they enacted an emergency wartime powers income tax. This saw the creation of the infamous IRS. So the tax had lasted for the war and then for seven years after. After that, they decided to end it and the IRS was made obsolete. Income tax was considered unconstitutional at the time, which was even supported by a Supreme Court decision. But the dirty politicians were upset and wanted to continue to extort the American people. There were debates for almost 50 years about making income tax permanent. So what the pro-tax people did was they gave the anti-tax people some tickets to go on board the Titanic. Then they paid the captain to sink the ship purposefully. The whole women and children first thing, as well as the slacking number of lifeboats, which was probably also on purpose too assured that the anti-tax politicians would perish. Then, literally less than a year later, the 16th Amendment is passed, allowing the government to collect income taxes. Shortly after, the Federal Reserve was also created, which is backed by private banks, and basically the American people became slaves. A uh, popular misinformation website, Wikipedia, claims that there was a populist movement in support of this, but what kind of common folk are in support of being taxed more? I guess this was a fed plot too. Even without the Titanic murder incident, the entirety of the modern day IRS and Federal Reserve and 16th Amendment are built on such fragile positions that any criticisms of them are attacked virently or called frivolous. No joke, look up anything criticizing the IRS and you will come across the term frivolous tax arguments. Uh, anyway, enough about that. Back to the Titanic. So anyway, the Titanic forgot to pay his taxes, and then the government came to arrest him. He fought back against the tyranny, so they killed him. In this quote-unquote conspiracy, the Titanic is analogizing what happens if a person doesn't pay their taxes. Um, uh, uh, uh Sergeant Scritchy Scratch was really scary looking. It's probably on account for his ginormous size. He's bigger than uh, Algo. Or a big rock, or a whale, or Jupiter. Yeah, Sergeant Scritchy Scratch is bigger than Jupiter. So he was so scary, and then he growled it, and then Captain Phillips was scared it, and jumped off the ship and swam uh, home to safety. And then the ship didn't have a captain, so then it swayed off course, and then it hit a golf course, and then it got a hole in one. But then the golf officials were like, sorry, you're not using regulation gear. We're going to have to disqualify. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Um, uh, uh, the Titanic ship did a thing where um, the, the thing, uh, it's, it's sandpaper, something about the wrong level grit or something, and the paint was poisonous and uh, every, everybody died. Yeah, okay, uh, that's good, that's good. Get straight up in the air.